Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be explaining the reasons why I am bullish, I am in long trades, I hold no local short positions at all and why I am expecting higher prices to come. I'm going to be giving you the exact reasons, levels and how I'm dissecting this market right now. I'm also going to be explaining to you how I can be looking for short positions even while maintaining an overall bullish bias and really how we've come about these prices currently around 28k. This is going to be a very educational video for you. I do recommend maybe you take a notepad and, and jot down some notes or type down some notes alongside me as I explain the information that I want to share with you today. Please take this video seriously, just as I'm going to give you a very professional analysis. I want you to really take this one serious and really listen to what I'm saying because I know I can help you. So yeah, I want to go straight into this one. As always, you're here watching Chart Champions videos because we are one of the best in the space. We are very accurate with our analysis, concise. Okay, and we, you know, I'm just giving uh, exactly what I see. Okay, there's no hidden games or messages here. So let's go into the charts and... Uh, well, let's get ready to crush them together, CC Paul. So, um, yeah, I want to pick up, first of all, briefly where I left off on the live stream that I made on Friday. So it was a good hour long live stream. And I was explaining in that video why, once again, you know, of a common pattern of 2023. I was bullish, looking for higher. If we had dropped where we did, I'd have held my hands up and said I was wrong. Uh, but I wanted to see higher. And, well, we can see now, a few days later, that higher we did get. I had one level above us of interest uh, for a potential short trade based off the reaction and that was at 27,300 to 27,500. Just would like to show you for transparency reasons as we hit that level, okay, I did come into my group and I did tell them I'm not shorting at that level, okay? So when we hit the NPOC zone of around 27,400, I told my team no short trades. Yesterday, which was obviously Saturday, today again on Sunday, I've been reminding my team I remain bullish, no short trades, in long time, I want to see higher prices to come. As always, I will just remind you, if you want those, you know, the real-time guidances as I'm explaining what I'm looking for, remaining bullish, not taking a short here, want to see higher prices to come, still looking bullish. If you want those updates live in the time and you don't have to wait days for a YouTube video, well, then you can get that, of course, via chartchampions.com. That's where you get all the updates before anybody else. Okay, so really simply, we hit around that 27,500 and I said to my team, you know, I'm not going to take this short. I want to see higher prices. Well, directly above us, you can see a very important level for me, which is uh, 28,716. So 20,000 $28,716. Just want to say this is a little bit of a zone. And I'm really taking this zone from 28,650 to around 28,800. So we haven't tapped that zone yet, but of course we're very close to it. But until it is hit, you know, actually hit, um, you know, I'm still looking for those higher prices. And then as always, the way that I trade is see the reaction. And I make an informed decision based off of that reaction, right? So when the levels hit, I'll look at things such as order flow. I'll look at things such as the context of the market, my correlated assets I'll take a look at. Of course, that correlation right now is not strong. That's something to pay attention to. The correlation can come and go. Right now, it's not strong. Um, so, you know, I'm placing, placing more emphasis on the bigger levels on Bitcoin, the overall market structure. And of course, the order flow is what helps me to make those decisions on the smaller term time frame. So it's like when we hit 27,500, okay, well, you know, <laughs> I made an informed decision. I'm not going to take that short. We could have rejected and I got it wrong, but, you know, we hit 27K. We moved up to 27,300, 27,500. You know, I really simply went into my group and said, you know, this isn't a short. I'm looking now for above 28K, right? And, uh, you know, I've really made a real effort to be very clear and obvious what I'm looking for next on Bitcoin. And I've been very transparent of being bullish and long with no short trades open here on Bitcoin. You know, it's really good to see that, you know, the changes that we've made really are helping and taking effect because people are commenting and really showing their love because they are able to make profits alongside us on this rise. And that's, you know, a beautiful feeling. That's at the end of the day what we're here for, right? We want to build you up, want to make you better. And if you can take advantage advantage of, um, you know, my insights, then hey, that's a perfect world for all of us. That's me meeting my mission of helping you and that's you meeting your mission of making profits, right? So it's an all-round win-win for that, okay? And now here we are trading at around 20. 
8K, okay? The number's irrelevant. What I want to explain is the theory behind this, okay? So I'm going to slow this down. I've, you know, I'm trying to make sure you're fully obtaining all the information I'm sharing with you. There's a few things that I would like to expand upon right now, okay? And that is the rise that we have seen from $15,000, okay? I'm just going to take a few minutes to talk about this because for me, it's a very important topic that I truly want you to understand. So we've, of course, had seen 2022. You know, I was maybe one of the biggest bears in the whole of crypto, right? Every single rise, I just wanted a short, was looking for lower prices. You know, I was very, 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 very bearish during 2022. And that did pay very well, right? $69,000 to $15,000, a very large downtrend during 2022. And I happily was one of the biggest bears in the space short in every rise. Okay, and even at the end of 2022, while we were trading down at $15,000, I was still bearish. Okay, I was still expecting lower prices to come. Why? Well, trading the trends, which was down, there had been no sign of strength. Okay, so for me, this is a really risky long. Okay, we see massive red candles, a breakdown of the range, FTX going bankrupt. At that moment in time, it's for myself too risky to just jump into a long trade. Okay, at the very least, I want to see a drawn out range. I want to see some more data. I want to see a sign of strength. Okay, I had still shorts at this time from $52,000, $69,000. Okay, short from $47,000, $48,000. So I was in several higher term time frame swing short trades at this point. Okay, and as we start to move along, you know, I start to edge more and more bullish because I'm starting to see the signs of strength here. I'm starting to see the signs of accumulation, okay? Here, I had no signs of that, so I was happily remaining bearish, okay? But as we moved along, as we got more and more into 2023, I did get more and more bullish. Why? Because I truly understood the sign of strength that we were seeing, okay? So obviously, this long from 16,600 was taken while I was still bearish, to be honest with you. But we come down to the CC Fibonacci level. And just as when I am very bullish, I can take short trades. Or when I'm bearish, I can still take longs. Because at the end of the day, I trade the charts. Did I expect this to go to 28K? Well, not really at the time of taking it. But here we are. And I'm still in that trade, right? And I want to refer to the post made on the 10th of January. This is, of course, while we were still trading at you know around 16,000. 917,000. So you can see here on the 10th of January, you know, basically around $17,000. And I come in here and I made the post, you know, I've not felt this bullish in over a year. Many are going to miss out on this upcoming pump. Truly what an amazing year 2023 is going to be for us. And from this point onwards on the 10th of January, I've managed to take full advantage of this very large rise to the upside. Okay, we can see from the 10th of January to where we are here, this is around a 65 percent rise okay so for me this is something to you know help you understand that we don't need to be longing the exact low in fact that is considered in my opinion very dangerous catching the falling knife remaining patient you know I was happily still bearish during this section of the chart during 2022 I was bearish during the whole of the downtrend I wasn't shorting down here for swing trades but I was you know remaining still looking for lower prices as we started to enter 2023, my bias started to change because I started to recognize now signs of accumulation. And then really that came into full effect on the 10th of Jan as I really made it very transparent and clear. You know, I am now bullish. I, I really am expecting a very large and big rise to the upside. As we can see now, this tweet is aged perfectly. This guy says he's been part of Chart Champions for three months and he learned more than in three years of university. <laughs> um, so, you know, this is the advantage, right, of, of you know, I want to say is echo the words here, you know, trading alongside world-class traders. We Chart Champions with the coaches that you have, you know, we are trading multi-million dollar position sizes. You know, we are the largest traders on Bybit, literally with billions of dollars flowing through. So, you know, it's undeniable the amount that we're trading with, you know, and also that the way that we're trading. It's like I was referring to on this post, right? You know, there are some people that have just remained bearish, shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting. You know, they're stuck in the bias. 2022, shorts paid. 
But guess what? At 2023, shorts are not paying. And so some people are stuck in the bias of short, 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 because they cannot trade the charts. They're trading their bias, which is not a thing you should do. Trade the charts, be open to longing, be open to shorting when you've got a high probability trade. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, do a few comments on and, and on this before we move back on to what's happening now. And that was, yeah, you know, I'm not the perfect trader. You know, I didn't long, you know, the exact low at $15,000 because, you know, at that time I was still leaning bearish. I was still expecting lower prices to come. But as the range went on, as we entered 2023, I started to see those signs of strength accumulation and I started to become more and more bullish. Really switching that bias totally at the 10th of January around $17,000 as I really was expecting a massive upcoming pump and a very bullish year, you know. Long time since I've been this bullish on the charts, right? And, well, we can see, like we say here, that has aged perfectly as we made our way up. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal, but I'd like to explain something else now for you. And that is a few, you know, just as I longed at 16K, okay, while I was, you know, still at this time pretty bearish, um, I've also taken short positions during this uptrend while I've been very bullish, Okay, primarily I want to talk about my short side that took at 25,300. You know, this for me was my biggest short trades because at the time we were at the top of my channel, we had seen a swing forward pattern of the high. For me, this is a very acceptable short trade to be taken. Okay, trading the charts. Overall, I really believe that we can be going higher, but I've seen a swing forward pattern of the range high. I have some nice counts and technical analysis to back up the short trade. And I did take these shorts at 25,000, okay? So I took the long when I was bearish. I took these shorts when I'm bullish. Trading the charts, I was given an entry, so I'm going to take that trade. Well, we, we did obviously get a, you know, about a 20% drop to the downside. Um, but nevertheless, you know, of course, I'm not in those short positions anymore. But I just want to say, you know, I have taken some shorts on this uptrend. You know, I'm not scared to short the uptrend. If I'm given the chance, I'll take the chance. I'm just looking for high probabilities. You know, this swing failure pattern or the swing failure pattern, 21st of February, had a Fibonacci time on that day. You know, it lined up very nicely for me to take a short. We got over a 20% pullback to the CC, which was from Fibonacci from low to high. We come into the CC. Again, I didn't long the exact low of that CC, okay? When we came down in 20K here, I did not long here. I did not long here, okay? Although this was a CC bounce into the CC once again. Didn't actually long either of these two moves, okay? Just as I didn't long $15,000, I don't need to long the exact low. What I did, waited for more time, waited for more data. Here we reclaimed the channel I was trading. Again, this is all given live in the time. We reclaimed the channel. We started to get massive bullish CVD divergences, you know, very bullish divergences. We started to see very bullish funding rates, okay? And I started to then once again expect higher prices. As, as we reclaimed 21,700, for me a big resistance back into support, it was, okay, I'm back bullish. This is now the local low and I'm looking for higher prices to come. Okay, and from there, of course, bullish divergences, we got another lovely rise to the upside. Closed out the $25,000 short positions that I was in, in profits, and we continued to move higher up in the, to the charts. Okay, so a few things to take in mind here. I've not longed exact lows. I've been patient, waiting for more data. That data then shows me bullish signs. I lose the bearish bias and I look for higher once more, right? Trading the charts each step of the way. And that brings us up to where we are here, okay? So when we add back on our TA, I'm still looking for higher prices, okay? I'm, a, I'm aware we could dip before a rise, and if we get a dip, well, and I could look to buy the dip, right? But overall, I'm looking for higher to this vowel. This, for me, is a very important level where, once again, I'll make an informed decision if and when we hit this level. I could be wrong, and we drop totally, and we, we get a dip, I buy the dip, and we get a bounce, and it continues down, and, and this was the high. Well, in that case... As I've said before, I hold up my hands and say, hey, I was wrong on this. You know, I wanted to see how it didn't come. But at the, really, I'd like to see a test of that zone of the value area low, which I've explained to you. And then if and when hit, I'll make an informed decision, something I'm very good at doing, to be honest with you. We hit the level. I'll judge the reaction. I'll read the order flow. I'll read the context and I'll make a trade decision. I'll either take the short based off of that or I will say, well, we've hit this level. 
We've got a bit of a reaction, but there's nothing bearish on the order flow. I'm still looking for higher. I'm still remaining bullish and I'm not taking this short trade. If that's the case, well, then I can still look up towards my next level to the upside. For me, it's always a level to level environment. I have my underlying biases, but I will always trade the charts. Always will trade the charts. OK, for me, this is how I trade. This is how I'm profitable. You know, I have made multi million dollars of profit off of this market. OK, um, you know, my results and, and monetary gains, I suppose, speak to the speak for themselves on that. And for me now, it's once again a, an area of bit of patience. You know, if we get a dip, I'm happy to look to buy the dip at the moment. OK, if we get a rise, one thing you have to understand is right now I'm bullish. I'm not in shorts, I'm in long trades, I'm looking for higher. We could get higher, and then I'd take a short if we get a really nice bearish reaction, and then we get lower. I don't want you to be thinking, Daniel, you are really, really, really bullish. Uh, and now you're coming into a video one week later saying you're bearish and you're in a short trade. Well, if we come up and we get higher and we hit my target and I get a short trade entry, I'm going to take it, right? You can be just holding on words I said one week ago. Trading is a game where what I say even now could potentially change in 10 minutes time, right? Because I'm trading the charts. I'm trading the data that is coming live to me every single second. We're getting more and more data. We're getting more ways to analyze the market. OK, so I'm trading based off of the order flow, based off of real evidence and data that I see in front of me. So what I see now is not bearish, but I understand that in one minute time, we could see more data come into this market that makes my change, you know, my decision change, right? So I truly do trade the markets. I truly do make my decisions based off of statistical evidence and data in front of me. Uh, very important you recognize that. But for now, yes, I'm looking for higher. There's for me a key level. Like if we get a nice bearish reaction of this zone, then yeah, I can take a short. If we come up to it, we don't get anything bearish on the order flow, well, then I'll continue to look for higher prices to come, right? See if we can get that big meme. If you've been a member of Chart Champions for a while, then you'll know the big, uh, big meme post that I love with the shirt. We'll see if I can wear that shirt again, right? Um, but yeah, this was uh, an explanation of that. I, I just want to say, uh, I want to wrap it up by saying something about the altcoins because, of course, we are potentially reaching that alt season. Before I talk about that, I just want to do a quick announcement. First one is reminding you, um, everything that I talk about, you know, of course, is always in much more detail for the for the actual mentorship, right? goes without saying. But, um, you know, if you want daily live stream updates, Okay, this is for contenders as well, right? Contenders, you also get a daily live stream on a Monday. You get the Wednesday live stream, and then you get a new Friday live stream from Rivalry. So contenders, we're also adding more features. But for the champions, that's where you get the updates in the time inside of the Discord. Of course, for the contenders and champions, we now got an inbuilt journal. You got the cheat sheets. You got the templates that we've put hours and hours building. You've, of course, got the speed runs. You got the courses. You've got the new Elliott Wave module reminding you of that on the courses now. So you've got everything that you need to educate yourself. You've got the Discord where you can ask questions to the coaches, get answers, view our charts, and get those updates before everybody else. And, um, you know, those updates are, are very valuable to having the time. And, you know, sometimes on, on YouTube, you're going to have to wait days to get the next update. But on the Discord, you, you have to wait seconds, right? So there's obviously a major advantages of being, being on, on the mentorship in that regards, if you're truly taking this seriously. Okay, and about the alt season, I know I have one other, um, one other announcement that I want to remind you of. And again, this is do your own research, just putting this out here. Um, you know, I'm not paid <laughs> to say this sort of stuff. I trade here and, you know, this is my... Um, my decision where I trade and you have your own decision. But just to make you aware, we do have the affiliate status with Bybit. So if you want to take advantage of the new deal that we've obtained, then, you know, do your own research and take advantage of that, right? That new deal is as follows. Uh, 14 days of VIP. Okay, that is first come, first serve limited. 20% discount on fees. And still, as always, that $30,000 deposit bonus. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, you can follow the link. I've got it on Twitter, on the Discord. I'll leave it in the comments down below. But you can see the new exclusive bonus that Chart Champions have with that, where this is, you know, the VIP, the discount on the fees and the up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Uh, you can take advantage of that. If you've already signed up with mobile before, then you can, of course, use email and just use a new email address, right? 
Um, so yeah, just reminding you of that, if you would like to take advantage, that is a new deal that we have secured uh, with Bybit. Uh, so yeah, that's where I trade, so that you can do your own research and trade wherever you want. But you know, that's a good deal if you are interested in trading there, right? Um, and yeah, ending with the talk about um, alt season then. So I personally uh, have recognized strength um, in the side of the crypto market, of course, I've been very bullish on Bitcoin, not so much on altcoins. You know, I've been accumulating altcoins slowly over the past few weeks again, but strength is still with Bitcoin right now. We know that Bitcoin finds strength. Um, sorry, we know that it, altcoins generally find strength when Bitcoin starts to calm down a bit. When you look at this, this is not really what we call like Bitcoin being calm. <laughs> so naturally, altcoins are generally red. Okay, generally the altcoins are pulling back as Bitcoin seeing extreme strength. But once we do get that cool off period on Bitcoin, that's where we can start to see this like alt season, right? Okay, so we're really focusing on Ethereum here. Ethereum can be the leading indicator for the rest of the altcoin market. Ethereum on the BTC pair is coming down to the value area low, which is a key support level. Okay, also on the other, a few of the other altcoins that I trade, you know, you can see the altcoins that I'm really focused on here, NIA. EGLD, GRT, Algo, Tezos, Atom, Dot, Cardano, Link, Shiba, if you like. Of course, I'm aware of some other altcoins, you know, Matic, IMX, AVX. You know, I'm aware of all these altcoins because that's where I feel the biggest opportunities are. I trade the alts, which I feel have the biggest opportunities. And so I reckon that they are still likely to pull back a little bit here. I still think that they're going to pull back because Bitcoin is still going to remain volatile. But when Bitcoin enters this stage of more consolidation, I do think that we can get this nice altcoin movement. I wouldn't overexpose myself. I wouldn't enter into massive crazy leverage positions. Uh, but, you know, I, I personally am happy to accumulate right now because I see the potential over the coming months. You know, again, they can still pull back more and I'm, I'm happy and prepared for that, right? But I do see the signs of that potentially turning around. I will say this, if you're interested in more of a in-depth altcoin video, okay, they have talked about it for two minutes, right? If you want something more in-depth, let me know in the comments below. I always read every single comment, by the way. Uh, every comment I will always read. So let me know down below. And I will say this, of course, we have put in a real effort to, you know, stop the clickbait, stop confusion, stop, you know, yeah, guess that, confusion, period. So with that, with losing the clickbait, we have lost the YouTube algorithm, we do get less views. It's as simple as that. Clickbait works, we've put a stop to it from the wants of you and also just to remain professional and, you know, get the people that really want and care about the information. So you know, with that, I do ask if you can give a like to this video, it truly will help out the channel, it will help us reach more people that are truly interested in technical analysis and trading. Um, so yeah, you can really help us out by, you know, fighting against the algorithm of YouTube that we have lost, we have removed the clickbait, but you can help by sharing this video with friends, with family, with people who might have interest, or just giving a like so we can organically grow and find uh, the new audience of, of people that we can help. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. If you want the daily live stream updates, if you want all that information, well, you can get that over on the website right now, right? For the contenders, for the champions, you've got updates, okay, on the website. And if you want those updates more live in the time, more, you know, quick and access to questions and answers and updates and charts, well, that's for the champions only on via the Discord, right? I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. i got live streams coming tomorrow. <laughs> coming on Wednesday, live streams coming on Thursday. you got the Elliott Waves. you got all that good stuff all over on the website, chartchampions.com. If you want to take advantage of that Bybit deposit deal and, you know, discount on fees, etc., I'll also leave that in the description. I'm going to wrap that up. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Um, for now, if we get a pullback, I'm happy with that. Look to buy the dip and see if we can test this valve. From there, I'll make an informed decision of whether we get a rejection or whether we actually get through it. And then I will simply keep looking out for these higher prices to come. Thank you ever so much. Truly hope you've enjoyed. And I'll catch you over in the Discord or the website. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And goodbye. Cheers.